What if I told you the largest multinational investment company was about to pump billions of dollars into crypto? This is about to happen. And while it may sound amazing for the crypto industry, it has the potential to completely destroy cryptocurrency as we know it. So who is this massive investment company? Well, it's none other than BlackRock. If you didn't know, BlackRock has a very dark history and they have been involved in their fair share of scandals. To start, they are a top owner of the world's most powerful and polluting oil and gas corporations, from Exxon Mobil to Chevron. They also hold majority stakes in top coal companies. But why does this matter? The reason this is an issue is they actively stand for climate issues, even stating that they want to have zero greenhouse gas emissions by 2050 or sooner. In other words, they actively prop up and monopolize the world's largest polluters while stating that they want the opposite. This, in my opinion, shows their clear lack of morals and ethics and why they shouldn't be trusted. But it gets far worse. They have over $10 trillion in assets and they have a chokehold on a number of other industries as well. And the latest industry they're looking to seep their tendrils into is cryptocurrency. They recently filed for a Bitcoin ETF, which has already been generating a ton of buzz and market manipulation. We recently saw Cointelegraph put out a completely false article stating that BlackRock had been approved for their Bitcoin ETF. As you can imagine, this caused a massive pump and dump for Bitcoin and other top altcoins. Here is when the news came out, and here is the dump that followed shortly thereafter. But what happens when BlackRock actually gets approved and they own a majority majority stake in Bitcoin through investors' money and their ETF. Well, at that point, they're free to spin whatever narrative they want that fits their best interest. BlackRock's top holdings include Visa, JP Morgan, MasterCard, and many other massive corporations that are completely threatened by the crypto industry. So unless they sell these holdings, it's fair to say they don't have the crypto industry's wishes for decentralization at their heart. BlackRock is not your friend, and they have decades of experience monopolizing the top industries of the world. They will bring short-term pumps that will benefit many people watching this video, but long-term, they're going to siphon away investment opportunities from pretty much all of retail, just like they did with real estate. After the 2008 and 2009 financial crisis, BlackRock bought up billions of dollars worth of residential real estate making it impossible for working class Americans to purchase homes in select areas. And they're about to do the exact same thing to cryptocurrency. BlackRock will start by trying to acquire as many centralized exchanges as possible. And for those of who don't comply, they will go after them with misinformation campaigns and the legal system, which they have a chokehold on. Look at what's already happening with Binance, Coinbase, and other top exchanges. The government is attempting to destroy them while BlackRock is applying for ETF. Is that really a coincidence? BlackRock will continue to push for regulatory measures that only stand to benefit them. And once they're a officially in the crypto industry through their ETFs, it's going to get 10 times worse. This will greatly hinder innovation in the space and allow their top partners to swoop in and get massive edges over everyone else in the industry. Decentralization stands against this in every sense of the word. So the question is, how do we combat this? The first step is raising awareness and educating the industry on the risks of BlackRock, Grayscale, and other massive investment firms centralizing the industry and reminding everyone of why cryptocurrency was invented to begin with, which is decentralization. We also must ensure everyone recognizes the short-term gain from Bitcoin ETFs is not worth the long-term pain to the entire crypto industry. And since we know Bitcoin ETFs are inevitable, we must all refuse to pour our money into those ETFs. 
because that will be the nail in the coffin. Instead, we must all continue to hold our cryptocurrency in a decentralized way using the many wallets that are available and protecting those companies at all costs. This will be a long drawn out battle and BlackRock will try their best to separate us and churn us against one another. So it's more important than anything that we all stay together and stay united fighting against these massive corporations who are trying to destroy our industry. I think we can all agree we don't want the crypto market to become anything like the stock market with corporations and regulators falling around controlling our every move, making it impossible for us to see those overnight 1000x crypto projects that created countless millionaires last bull cycle. Instead, we all want the ability to innovate at lightning speeds, build great new projects, and see explosive potential like we did during the last bull cycle. So it's absolutely crucial we spread the word. Like, comment, subscribe, and share this video anywhere you can. See you guys next time. Peace out.